अभी तो असली मंजिल पाना बाकी है अभी तो इरादों का इम्तहान बाकी है अभी तो तोली है मुठ्ठी भर जमीन अभी तोलना आसमां बाकी है जी हाँ साथियों स्वागत है आप सबका एक बार फिर से हमारे YouTube चैनल में आज हम फिर से बात करेंगे कुछ इम्पोर्टेंट क्वेश्चन की तो चलिए शुरू करें वाट हारमोन इज रेस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर द एब्जॉर्प्शन ऑफ वाटर फ्रॉम द किडनी बेच इन टू द सिस्टम ए एंटी डायरेटिक हारमोन बी एंजीटेंशन सेकेंड सी रेनी डी एल्डेस्ट्रोन आंसर इज एंटी डायरेटिक हारमोन एंटी डायरेटिक हारमोन इज सिक्रेटेड बाय द हाइपोथेलेमस and it is responsible for the reabsorption of water from the kidneys the natural pathway of electrolytes from a high concentration to lower concentration is called what a facilitated diffusion b diffusion c active transport d osmosis answer is diffusion Diffusion is the natural pathway of electrolytes from a high concentration to lower concentration. It involves no facilitated or active processes. Osmosis is fluid transport across a membrane. A patient potassium level is 3. Which foods would you encourage the patient to consume? A. Cheese, collard greens and fish. B. Avocados strawberries and potatoes c tofu oatmeal and peas d peanuts bread and corn answer is avocados strawberries and potatoes which of the following is indicative of an ecg change in case of hypokalemia a widened prs complex and prolonged pr interval B. Prolonged ST interval and widened T wave. C. Tall T wave and depressed ST segment. D. ST depression and inverted T wave. Answer is ST depression and inverted T wave. Why is the elderly more likely to get electrolyte and fluid disorder? A. They don't have the drive to drink as much. B. They absorb electrolytes more poorly. C. The kidney don't work as well. D. Their body is only contain 45 to 55 percent water, as opposed to 60 percent in young adults. Answer is D. Because elderly bodies contain a less percentage of water. There is more likely to be fluid imbalance and electrolyte disbalance. A client has a blood pH 7.3. You know, you know that this represents what? A. Alkalosis. B. Normal pH value. C. Acidosis. D. Neutral pH value. Answer is acidosis. Client with a blood pH of 7.3 is suffering from acidosis. What is the major cation in extracellular fluid? A. Potassium. B. Sodium. C. Chloride. D. Magnesium. Answer is sodium. Sodium is the major cation in extracellular fluid. while potassium is the major cation in intracellular fluid chloride is the major anion negatively charged particle in extracellular fluid a patient has a potassium level of 2 what would you expect to be order for this patient a potassium 30 milliequivalent iv push b infusion of potassium intravenously C an oral supplement of potassium D intramuscular injection of potassium Answer is infusion of potassium intravenously Thank you share kare subscribe kare